With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, the question is, adjacent figure is a vertical number line representing integers. Observe it and locate the following points. A. If point D is plus 8, then which point is minus 8? B. Is point G a negative integer or a positive integer? C. Write integers for points B and E. D. Which points marked on this number line has the least value? E. Arrange all the points in decreasing order of value. And this is over here have the number line. Now. First, we draw this vertical number line. So, let's draw this vertical number line like this. Now, let's mark points in this. So, let's say this is 8, which is D. This is blank. Then this is blank, and this is C, this is B, this is blank, this is A. Then further we have one blank, and this is 0. Then further we have one blank, and further this is H, then further we have blank, then again blank further we have again blank and further we have g further we have blank then further we have f and then we have one blank and then at the last we have e which is the last point of the number line. Now, let's mark values or integer values of this number line. If it is 8, let's say this is 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have 0. Below it, this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Then minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9, minus 10. Now, let's see the different parts of the question. Now, first part, the A part tells us if point D is positive 8, then which point is minus 8? Now, as you can see that minus 8 is F. Therefore, 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 my F represents minus 8. Now, let's see the B part, which is, is point G a negative integer or a positive integer? Let's see the G. Now, we can see that G represents minus 6. Therefore, therefore G is a negative integer. Now, let's see the C part, which is write integers for points B and E. So, for points B and E, as you can see that B represents 4 and E represents minus 10. Therefore, B represents 4 and E represents minus 10. Now, let's see the D part, which is, which point marked on this number line has the least value? Now, let's see the least value number line, which is minus 10. So, E has the least value of minus 10. Therefore, E has the least value of minus 10. Now, let's see the 
last in the E part, which is arrange all the points in decreasing order. So we can write this as minus T C. No, no need to add the minus. We are fine with the alphabets. So D C then B A then O that is zero then H then G then F and last is E which is answer. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and neat level. Trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.